The brown-lipped snail, Pipe nemoralis, also known as the lemon snail or the grove snail, is frequently found in gardens, and is a favourite meal of the song crush. This is a species of air-breathing mollusk, so its obvious characteristic is the wide range of colour forms or morphs. It ranges from yellows to pinks to browns, sometimes almost to white. On the lighter coloured ones you may have bands, usually brown, running around the shell itself. The coloured layer is called the periostracum. It's a form of protein and it wraps around the inner calcareous shell, rather like the wrap that's sometimes applied as a film to lorries and buses and cars and so on. In older specimens, sometimes the periostracum starts to peel off, and you can see the white shell beneath, rather like a rusting car. Both rings are clearly visible from the periostracum, rather like tree rings. You can tell you a great deal about how the animals fared in each season of this growth. Another very common but smaller species, the white lip snail, also shows the same colour variation. Then a great deal of speculation and research over the years to identify the purpose of this colour range. At one time, each colour variant had its own specific name. This is a widespread species, and at one time it was thought that the colour range, the morphs, related to the habitats in which the snails were to be found, so that perhaps open grassland might have different colourations from those within the woodland, but this has not proved to be the case. The so-called cryptic coloration of species is normally found for a specific purpose. It would be to camouflage the prey from the predator. However, in this species, the striking colours found in the brown lip snails suggest there's another strategy at work. It may be that when the predators, such as the song thrush, are actively collecting large numbers, they get their eye in, that is, they learn to quickly spot a particular colour variation. And that means that the others, at least on that particular day, are safeguarded. This polymorphism, this range of colours, may be particularly effective at certain times of year, especially when song thrush, for instance, are actively feeding their young. When looking at an anvil, you can see how the large number of colour variants are present. Well, that doesn't indicate what particular days they were taken.